It's the NFL on EA Sports. And up next is the Texans' sure-handed wide receiver. He's on the doorstep of another milestone in a great season, approaching 1,200 yards. It's the Texans and the Titans. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, Week 17 is upon us, and we've got a good one in store here, as it will be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Houston Texans. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon on this final day of 2023, New Year's Eve. Folks are fine-tuning their resolutions, fitness clubs ready for that January boon. But these two teams have one more important piece of business to take care of before the calendar turns to 2024. And I'll be one of those trying to get it going in January, trying to get my physical fitness on. But first, we've got a game to get on here. Two teams trying to finish strong before they turn the calendar. And on the flight home, I'll be finalizing my resolution list as well. The final two-week stretch of the 2023 regular season, and we are underway week 17 here on this New Year's Eve. All oh, the return is Jones from the end zone, and he returns this to the 22. So here are the Texans now with a fresh face at quarterback, the second overall pick from Ohio State. C.J. Stroud. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. Get it. Opening play, and Stroud will throw it. Steps away to his left. And this one too low. Kind of an odd schedule this year. These two teams getting their two games in very late in the season. Their first meeting just a few weeks ago, back in week 15. And it was the visiting Texans who came away with a victory. So they'll look to take the season series if they can win here in Houston. Second and 10, Stroud to throw yet again here. Going to throw right side here, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. But Charles, did it seem like to you that maybe they were a little worried about his running prowess there? Because everybody kind of froze when he got outside the pocket and they were able to throw it for the first down. Absolutely. And he worked all week getting ready for a game and you know that the potential is there for him to run it. But you better take care of those receivers downfield. They can hurt you first. A look there at Ingram's numbers from a week ago. He was, without a doubt, one of the catalysts in that victory. And he could really be the glue that makes this offense go because when defenders have to commit to stopping him, that just opens up more opportunities in the passing game. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and two. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Flushed out right. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. But we know that he can get first downs with his arm and his legs, Charles. And there, when he gets outside of the pocket, the defense has to account for both, and he's able to complete it for the first. And he's very comfortable outside of the pocket. Some quarterbacks, that's not their thing for him. That seems to be the number one asset to his game. Gets out into the open field, Things seem to break down the secondary a little bit, and he picks out the right target. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. A great play there. His fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Texans get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. So they start this game just like they won. Opening drive touchdown, a nice run there to finish it off. Yeah, that's what we call an explosive run because of the distance. And being able to do that, that puts a little uncertainty in the minds of your opponent.
Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And the Texans take a 7-0 lead. A drive that time of six plays. And the last play, a really nice run that culminated in the touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So the Titans set to go to work for the first time. And trotting out there, their tall quarterbacks, Danny gets 6-5. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes. I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done. He did have the one interception. But that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver publicly. But behind closed doors, he probably told his agent, hey, what's the deal? I should have had a perfect game. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Defense gives up a touchdown the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. Oh, he faked it with a jump. Now he's got some room. Nifty move. And they will finally get him to the ground at the Texans' 35-yard line. That one good for 37 yards. Now that's a big-time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. On first down, Simpson eluding the pressure right. Throw down field going to be taken in by Jackson. Touchdown, Titans. A great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Titans are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. But well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him, he still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Full connects on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So they only needed three plays on that drive, and it ends with a Tennessee score. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. I know I'm supposed to do the analysis here, but I've got to ask, how did he stay alive that long in the pocket? Yeah, great footwork, which we know he has. If he would have been able to stay alive, get rid of the ball, or run for some yardage, he would have had a very unhappy defensive coordinator, I believe. No doubt about that. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. They give to Ingram up the middle. Dances by him. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense and completely shut them down to force a three and out. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. That's fielded at the eight yard line. 
So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And it'll be Titan football. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. As the season winds down and you look at them in totality, you know, the offense has struggled. The defense has been pretty good, so I would imagine the changes this offseason may be more on the offensive side of the ball. And this is where we always hear the term complimentary football because, as you noted, the defense has played well enough for them to win games, and the offense has held them back. So they've got to reward that defense by improving on offense. I don't know if you make a change of quarterback, running back, tight end. It doesn't matter. Get better players, better system, so they can play to the standards of the defense, and the win column will result. Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football as they've got it with a second and ten. Come on, come on. Hey. Looking to throw, Simpson firing quickly here, and that's complete. Only able to gain a couple there. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Simpson. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Derek Stingley gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. On now is the Titans punter as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Jones on the return. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Texans will take over. For the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Breaks through the contact. But he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 22 yards on the catch and run. A first down. Yeah, big play there. When you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The Texans at 8-7, and seven, a game over 500 on the year. And they were losers last time out, trying to turn things around here in this one. And it always helps to have a home crowd behind you, giving you encouragement as long as you give them something good to cheer about. So, you know, they just want to come out and play well for their faithful, and I expect them to do just that. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 18. A good pick up there, 20 yards. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Again, it's Drown. That is caught inside the five. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. First and goal at the three-yard line. Stroud to throw it. And got this man. It's caught. Touchdown. Houston from three yards out, and the Texans have taken the lead. But with that touchdown pass, I'm going to bring up a point from earlier in the year. Some of the fans were saying, when do we turn to the rookie? Well, he's looking pretty good right now. Yeah, I love the fact that the fans are bringing that up because I'm not the head coach, okay? So he's got to deal with it. But I think it's a legitimate question. With the way their season is going, I think now is the time to turn the page and let him get some starts before this season is over. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone and tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Tennessee offense set to go again. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. Oh, he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Ready? 
throwing on first down. Simpson flush to his right. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem scrambling for 22 and a first. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season, and that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? Here's a throw off the scramble, and that's complete out left. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Back to throw. Simpson. This will go to Henry out wide. And down inside the 15 he goes. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. Looking to throw. Simpson. Throw to the right. Caught by Conquo. And it's a Titans touchdown. Chiga Conquo from 13 yards out. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Oh, this is blocked. The Texans have got it. But he doesn't get far. They're able to stop him. And after all that, the extra point attempt unsuccessful. I know it's easy to kind of shrug off a blocked extra point, but this game is shaping up to be a tight one. The second half, this could prove crucial. Yeah, we might look back on this one. We'll have to wait and see. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Texans with the football here late in this first half. And with a one-point lead, you'd have to think they'll be looking just to get this to halftime. Stroud's throw taken in by Collins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Stroud to the air on first and 10. On the move to his left. This ball caught by Mechie. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Final play of the half. Stroud flushed out right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. So we've reached halftime here on New Year's Eve. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. We'll bypass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Tennessee. We've sat in a lot of meetings, and they always talk about the offense taking advantage of beginning a half. Well, special teams coaches don't listen to that. They want to take advantage with their own unit, and they just did. Yeah, they trailed in the locker rooms, and they changed that immediately. I think they drew that one up special. That felt like something he pulled out of his pocket that he'd been holding for a while, and they were able to use it effectively. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years 
numbers of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Well, fit me for a neck brace, partner. One kickoff return in one direction for a touchdown, and the oh, other one oh. they almost broke going back the other way. Stroud off the play fake. He dumps it down to Ingram. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. And Stroud now to throw. And the Titan defense steps up here and down he goes. Harold Landry in there to get him. And that is sack number six now for him on the year. Third and 19. Now Stroud, eluding the pressure right. Oh, poor decision there, and it's going to be intercepted. Down the numbers, there he goes. Down the right sideline. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, Charles, just some visibly frustrated players and coaches on that sideline right now because those halftime adjustments didn't work. The turnover problems continuing here in the second half, and the defense now sitting pretty comfortably as a result of that pick six. I think that's a great observation, too, Brandon, because they did make adjustments at halftime. But how about this other group staying a step ahead despite whatever happened in that other locker room? No surprise they're leading, and it's appropriate that those defenders got to add to the lead directly. Extra point up and good by Folk, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And now out comes Houston. Remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Rolling to his right. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. A beautiful thing. A 55-yard punt that time with a return of about 14. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Throwing to start the drive. Simpson, a short throw taken in by Conquo. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. On first and 10, Simpson buying time to his left. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. 
I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. He gets it complete to Jackson. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Just a gain of a couple there, and it's second down. Operating from the gun, Simpson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. It'll be first and goal when we come back. Back now in Houston. It's the Titans. They've got the football. They'll be looking to extend their lead here as we begin the fourth quarter. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Back to throw again. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's down. Derrick Henry, a five-yard touchdown. And the Titans are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Full connects on the extra point, and that will make this a 19-point game. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. Now comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. Now this game went off the rails early for them and never really got back on track. And these fans, they were expecting to be on the other side of the scoreboard. But that is not the case as we play on here in this fourth quarter. Here we go. First and ten, it's Stroud. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, what was he thinking there? It's easily intercepted. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Well, let's face it, Brandon. They're down here in the second half. Want to try and make something happen. And if you're the guy with the ball in your hands, you're going to try even harder. Because I think all he was trying to do was to get outside the pocket and see if he can find a big play downfield. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the Texans' 18-yard line. Come on, come on. Just need a yard here, second and one. Let's go. Operating from the gun, Simpson. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Flush to his right. It'll wind up being a huge loss on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. On now is the Titans punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the Texans now. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. Flushed out right. And his throw is incomplete. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try and throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. Sliding out of the pocket. They intercept Stroud again the third time in this game. And the Titans are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of... Have you ever heard the story of Icarus in mythology? That's the guy who flew too close to the sun and had his wings melted. That was our guy right there. He keeps pressing it and pressing it. Finally, on that throw, he paid the price with that turnover. Hey. 
Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Able to shake him off. His throw incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Off the play fake, Simpson. Looking left sideline, incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Off play action. Simpson, rush coming, and he's taken down. Jonathan Greenard running in to pick up the sack. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking, but to me it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and that leads to a play action sack. Houston set to take over. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. The Texans on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This time it's third and 3. And they get to Stroud. Nowhere to go, and he goes down. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Stroud on the run. He'll let this go deep right side. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Simpson forced out to his left. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Here we go, here we After go. the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Looking for Hopkins, and he's got him on the crossing round. And the Titans are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Off the bootleg, Simpson. He's got a man, and he hits him in stride. Then it's a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that will bump the lead up to 26. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is in the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score, might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. Being chased out left. Then his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. 
inside the 10. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. This has just really been a solid second half from them, CD, as they add another touchdown to the lead and they start to pull away in what was once a close ball game. Yeah, they actually put the Jets on in this one, didn't they? Put a little cherry on top with that touchdown. Now he's got to play out this final minute and they'll get a chance to celebrate a very hard-earned victory. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. Out comes Houston. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling. No, no, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with... There he goes, right side. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 82 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten, eluding the pressure right. He's going to let it fly. Oh, and that is incomplete. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. From the shotgun, it's Mills. Out route, he finds his man, it's Jones. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Mills on third and two. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back. To... Here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And this game, it could very well turn out to be the shocker of the weekend. Not too many expecting them to come in here and win. And they're not just winning, they're dominating. And now trying to finish this one off. Bringing it in, Jackson left side. He'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. Shifts by him. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. They keep it with Henry on first down. Runs through the contact. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for the Titans, the victory gets them back to 500, 8-8 eight eight on the year.